Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Koneru Hampi and Balaji. This game was played in Dubai Open Championship in 2005. And where is Dubai? Dubai is the city in the United Arab Emirates. And who is Koneru Hampi? Koneru is an Indian chess grandmaster. Her April 2013 FIDE L rating was 2,597, placing her number three in the world for women's chess players. In this game, Koneru had white pieces and she started with d4. Palaji played knight to f6, c4, g6, g3, bishop to g7, bishop to g2, and black cast at king side. Koneru played e4. Let's take it back. Now this was the last chance for black to play d5 and to go to Grunfeld defense. e4. Now d5 doesn't work. So after d6, which was played by black, we have king's Indian defense. Knight to e2, e5, Koneru castle at kingside, c6, knight from b to c3, knight from b to d7, h3, Koneru is planning to play bishop to e3, and h3 is stopping the knight from going to g4 to attack the bishop. Queen to a5, this is area move in this position. Should we call this move a novelty or not? Let's take it back. The most popular moves in this position are a6. Pawn takes pawn on d4 and a rook to e8. But in our game we have a queen to a5. Bishop to e3 rook to e8, a3 preparing b4, pawn takes pawn on d4, bishop takes on d4, a6, f4, b5, b4 attacking the queen, and black played the queen to c7. It appeared that the queen was not very useful on a5. It is white to move and to play a very strong positional move. If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? Looks very ordinary, doesn't it? c5. But this is a very strong move. You'll see shortly why. Pawn takes pawn on c5. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop to b7. You can see why c5 was good. The light squared bishop is stuck behind his own pawn. And the pawn on c5 gives white space advantage. Rook to c1, knight to f8, e5, gaining more space on the board, knight from 6 to d7, knight to e4, knight to e6. The rule is, when you have less space, you need to exchange pieces, and the rule also is, if you have more space, you shouldn't exchange pieces. So, if general rule is to be followed, then white should save the bishop. This may not be the strongest move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Kunero played the strongest move. 
knight to d6. She doesn't need a bishop because all these pawns are on dark squares, the same as bishop. And the knight on d6 is now the star of the show. Knight takes on d4. Knight takes knight. Rook is under attack. Saving the rook looks like a logical move, doesn't it? Black's game is positionally lost. Rook to e7 was played. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? White played a move and black resigned, believe it or not. This is the move. Knight takes on b7. Black resigned. Possible continuation is queen takes knight and now white can capture the pawn with bishop or with knight. Do you have any advice for black? Well, one possible try is knight takes on a5. Then knight takes rook, check. Queen takes knight. Bishop takes on a8. That is why, in this position, black resigned. And it all started with what move? In this position, it appears that c5 was a killer move. Interesting, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.